video, we're going to go over how to bring in a video for reference when you're animating, especially uh, a character, a humanoid character. All right, so for this, I'm going to just create a plane. So just like before, like with polygon primitives, we're just going to create uh, a plane. All right, so within the attributes, you can uh, make this 10 by 10 by 100 by 100. If it's 1,000 by 1,000, you probably don't want that, but uh, really quickly, you can just see how quickly you can do that. Just have a one polygon plane. Uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and rotate that. Okay, I'm just going to show you everything that is possible. All right, and also going to stretch it out because it's probably four by six ratio if you're recording on an iPhone or photo booth and on a Mac. Uh, and so forth. So just stretch it out because if you do the one by one ratio, you're going to kind of be squeezed. All right, so we have this selected. And just like with uh, previous projects, we're going to go to rendering because we want to add a new material on there. This is the default uh, Lambert shader. So we want to add a new shader, new material. And we're just going to do Lambert. And we're going to go over here. So where it says color, we're going to go to the checkerboard. And normally, when we put textures on an object, we hit File, and we usually JPEG or Targa or uh, PSD or JPEG. This time, we're going to do a movie. All right, we're going to select the movie, and we still need to select it. I'm going to go to my desktop, hit Desktop, hit Open. All right, and right now, you'll see there's nothing happening here. So one of the things, the magic key, uh, which would drive you crazy if you don't know what it is, is number six. So we're going to hit number six. And uh, you can see the color is there. So again, four is wireframe, five is shaded, and six is your kind of color. So if I go through the scrubber really quickly, you can see uh, nothing's happening. So you may get frustrated right off the bat. So we're going to go to Lambert. Uh, sorry, I unclicked this. So you can always go back into this attribute editor, get to your texture editor. So we have the movie. You can see right down here it says image sequence. All right, and uh, previously MOVs or, uh, would not work in here. Sometimes you had to uh, export from After Effects and do actually export in image sequences and it actually wanted you basically a thumbnail of images to kind of see through Maya. But now it has the ability to do that with the MOV. Uh, if you ever want to put animated textures onto a form, this is the same thing you would do, image sequence, but in that case, it would have to be a sequence of images if you're rendering out. So let's say you want some vibrant movements uh, on a character on its surface, so, which can be really a cool effect. All right, that is it. So uh, just make sure you scrub through. Again, this is just kind of an approximate, uh, get your timing of some movements. Uh, by no means follow it verbatim. Uh, you can be a little bit more subtle or you can be more expressive. Um, this is me being silly, uh, giving some upper body movements uh, and also a little bit of animation with my hands. All right, hopefully this is enough to get you started. Uh, good luck.